Hey everyone, it's Desiree. Welcome. And I am here to do the final flip through of the scrapbook slash journal album that I have been creating. Um, and it was featuring just a couple different products, but here's what I want you to get out of this journal scrapbook album. One, we can combine anything that we want together. Why not? Nine out of 10, they are going to make a beautiful and perfect match. So I've taken the concept of the scrapbook album world where we have the hard bound book usually, and we have these large flip pages that are extremely interactive with flips and pockets and magnets, and they're on hinges inside this hard bound book. I've also added what I call journals. A lot of us know them as junk journals. I call mine journals. There's just something that changed, but it is. Mine are vintage style journals because everything is hosed down with vintage photo and it just has that vintage feel. I use vintage style stamps or I'll take one of my stamps or a die and because I shower it in with the vintage photo, it makes it look vintage. So that's the style that I create. So when I use the term journal, it is a sewn signature. The pages are sewn together using a stitch. So when I say journal, that is what I am referring to. So we've taken that concept as well and added it to this book. So we have the hard bound, we have one hinge page and two sewn journals on each side of that page. I have also pulled in other worlds within the paper crafting field. I've used a digital download from Pink Monarch Prints called Whispering Florals. I will have it linked down below. If you don't have pattern paper or you don't want to be that pattern paper hoarder and get caught into the majestic fever of, I got to have all the pattern paper, digital downloads could be something for you. Now, yes, you do have to have a printer um, or you could lose, use your local print shop. So that is a choice, but these are beautiful designs that these creators put together and create for us. I've taken though that concept of a digital download and basically used it as a pattern paper. We have it on our covers, we have it within the pages of our journals, and we have them as the page covers for the hinge system. So just like you would use pattern paper, we've taken that same concept except it's a digital whether it's printed down on copy paper, 32 pound copy paper, or 60 pound paper. And I'll have a video separate on what I use when it comes to digital downloads. And then finally, what I've pulled in are dies. So in the card making world, we have stamps and we have dies. We can use those dies to create our elements and stamps to create our elements to embellish our pages, our cover, our spine, the back. We can also use them in some cases in which you will say to build tags, tucks, pockets. Oh my. So all of these worlds have come into one and I am in love with this concept and what was created. This book here is a special gift for somebody. Um, and it's Sabrina. She's the owner of Scrappy Tales. So she should learn that when she says, I would like to have, mm -hmm, it's going to happen. 
<laughs> and that's what it is. She was in one of her videos and she was talking about how she started book reading again and she's enjoying it. Um, and she would love to have a book journal so that she can log all of the books that she's read and the, and the thoughts that she had about them and all of that. Okay. Well, I went to town and that is one of the main reasons why her new release, her new release, Life is a Story of Stamps and Dies and all kinds of other things are main part of this album as well. So that's my chit chat when it comes to how this all came about. Now, if you're interested in how I pulled the album together, there is a live that I did on May 4th and I'll link that down below to see how the cover was put together because I did not know if this was going to work. And that is what I want you to get from all of the videos when it comes to this project. That video, I'm showing you how to construct the album from start to finish. I show you that. Look at the techniques that I'm using throughout these videos of this project. You don't have to think, okay, well, she's just doing this. No. I want you to look at the techniques and use your stash. It's your choice if you choose to click on the links and want to look at what I used. By me, when I put the links down there, my reasoning is to honor those, in, those individuals or those small companies or those businesses that gave me the ability to make this. So understand my reasoning. You don't have to agree with it and you don't have to not agree with it either. I want to show you different ways of using what we have and how we can use our stash. That's my premise. That is what I'm all about. Let's start paging through. So we have our cover. So our cover, these are the digital download. The digital download is also in the background of the bookcase. All of the pieces that you are going to see here are, when it comes to the dies, are from Scrappy Tales and her life is a story. So we've added this, we added these bright, bold colors. We've added her florals from this. On the cover, I will tack these down because it's going to go all over the place. We have a ribbon closure for the side. You can see all of the explosions that come out. I love doing this with my journals. I must have explosions coming out the top and also the side filled with charms, metal findings, and sometimes I come out the bottom as well. This time I chose not to. This book's got some weight to it. This book measures six by eight and the spine, I believe is a two and a half inch spine. It is a two inch spine. So it's a six by eight, six by eight with a two inch spine. Here is our spine. So here you could really see the digital papers. I have the ribbon going up underneath this piece here. Use some brads to make it look like a metal finding. And I'm going to find a sentiment to put here. I just don't know what that's going to be yet. If I'm simply going to put journal or if I'm just going to leave it blank and she can label it as um, she wants. When we come to the back, we have added the couch with the little corgi and every journal that I make, I name. And I have kept a log from all the years that I have created journals. Um, I name it. So I keep that log and no two names will be used. So I always go back to this log to make sure. So it's either a name or it's a phrase of some sort. We have called this one a little bookish. See, a little bookish. 
and I put that on a tag and I emboss it in gold. I also put my branding, of course, on the back, um, stamp embossed, and then I put two brads on that as well to make it look like it is embedded into the book. All right, so let's take a dive into this. Now there, for this journal, there is a lot of writing space, um, which is something that I do like to add to all of my journals. To me, a journal is just that. You are to write into a journal or be able to put things into the journal. So lots and lots of space for that to make it your own. And you know what? I'm going to real quick grab some glue because that is going to bother me. So let's get... There we go. And we're just going to real quick tack these down. So forgive me, guys. I don't want to, as I'm shifting this around, I don't want it to shift. There we go. The glue will dry clear, so I'm not worried about it oozing out. That'll just give it more um, stability. Now you can also certainly um, use, you know, like the Prima flowers as well. Um, but I do like the look of these die cuts. Okay, so here we go. Let's make sure you're in flame, in frame. So again, hardbound. It's made with chipboard and covered in cardstock. Did not do anything to this page. Again, this is something where the user or the recipient, they can glue things to where they want. If they want to add a pocket, they can. If they want to clip something here, they can. So to leave that space to their own, I enjoy that. That is what I also like to provide, along with filling it with as much as I can. You can see here, you're going to see coffee dyed papers, dictionary pages, book pages, and the digital prints. So here, I just have two clipped together. So here's a digital print, and here is a coffee dyed paper. Here we made paper clips, so we've elongated them. This is what the back looks like. We even decorated the back. And here's the explosions that I love to put onto my um, tops of either tags or paper clips or any type of clip like that. Here is a book page. It just so happens that the book that I used is called Sanctuary. Um, and the author just went out of my head. Robert Thoreau. Yeah, and I hinged it so that the writing is going the right way. Now, this is a vintage book, but it was very badly destroyed. So I want to give it new life into this. Please know, and I say this to when people order journals from me and all of that, I do scan as much as I can through the pages. I hope I, if there's a curse word on it, I don't use that page. Um, so if there's a naughty word on me, Sabrina, I apologize. I did try to scan, but it's a good author. So here we have that. Here's a coffee dyed. Here is her book, her stacked book die. And then we put it on a piece of cardstock, created a belly band. And we have ephemera from the digital collection. And I've also added a gold clip that can go anywhere that she would like that to go. Here's the dictionary, an old piece of writing paper. Here is another style belly band. The first one was vertical. This one is now horizontal. And we have one of the tags that I sewed around from the digital kit. And I've added some ribbon for the top. Here's a flip out if you want to put a secret message. Or she can glue here and here and create a pocket if she wants. 
here's a pocket here with a paper clip to pull out and we've got three tags with just some stapled tassels above we have a bag here another book page another piece of journal writing coffee here we have another piece from her collection it is a tuck it is not a pocket because I can go across it it's not um, glued down on three sides so I just have a few pieces of the ephemera from the digital kit sitting in there here's the center so this is one of her die cuts as well the open book I cut it in half after it was put together and these sit in the center of the journals here I have a large tag and then also a piece of an ephemera so here is one two, So there are 19 full pages in each of the journals, which means you have um, 38 pages to flip and then you times that by two, it's 76. So you have a total of 76 pages to write on when it comes to each of the journals and that's a lot as we continue through here's another piece this is actually a section from her pop-up in the new release there's two other columns that go on either side of this again tag journal here's another piece from the ephemera that glued itself together yay always wait for your glue to dry there we go so, so another hidden spot that she can journal in here is the column that goes on that other side and again I have pieces of journals from the digital and the tag and then they are just tucked in here's the other half of the book another flip also use the flowers to create a tuck and what's cool is it's open so you can see what's getting tucked in there page dictionary here's another one of the pockets from the collection here's the bookshelf from her collection and I've taken a tag tucked it up in there it's just paper clipped but we also made charms so from this I have metal charms hanging and also made charms out of the digital collection and also um, some heavyweight cardstock to weigh that down and that makes the perfect charm and then that is the end of journal one and you will see if you noticed on the spine we are not seeing any sewing from the journal whenever I do a multi signature journal I don't like the the, um, the sewing to show on the outside it's just me if it's a single signature then yes you'll see the sewing outside that's usually how I attach the ribbon closure is I weave it through the the sewing that I do the pamphlet stitch but any more than one two on up I don't want to see the sewing of the signature on the outside of the album so I create I developed a system now and I'm not going to say I developed I'm sure somebody else came up with this before me but this is just how I do it I take a piece of thin chipboard weight sew through it you will see that in the video and then I take this piece with the signature on it and put it inside the album so again it's just a different way of doing that if you want to sew through the album you certainly can but I was not going to do that also with this chipboard after we get past the first journal we are now into a scrapbook album phase so here we have a page that anything can be done and here we have a flip out and this is a tuck pocket where anything can be put up in there folds down as we turn around again another page to fully decorate this is our fancy book marker in a tag form oh let me get rid of those threads 
just in a tag form with another charm coming from it. This is a double pocket, so you have a pocket in the back here and you have a pocket right here. So if I lift that up, pocket in the back, pocket here, more of her die cuts. And that just sits here because it is technically a bookmark and this is the collection of her corner bookmarks. This is the base, the first set that you wanna get. And when it comes to the corgi, the fox, the cat, and the horse, they are add-ons. This is a separate flower die, but again, I added it because I can't do anything small. I need to elongate it, I need to make it bigger, or I need to have lots of layers. You guys know that, that have been here. It's just something that I do. Um, but again, that's my style. So these are her bookmarks. I know she loves a corgi like I do. I know she loves her florals like I do. And I tried to make a cat look like a Siamese cat. I don't know how well I did. And I thought the fox and the horse would come in as well. I chose the horse because she designed a horse stamp. And a fox, well, that's just my own personal thought. So we'll just leave it at there. We have a clip that can come off of this and we can put this anywhere throughout the journal as well, but we're just housing it on that section. Again, our page, and again, we have another flip and this time it's a belly band using the bookcase and we can decorate there. And then we are back onto the journal world. You can see another corner with the flowers. Again, lots of room um, to add, to write, thoughts, whatever it is. And I leave it open. Here's another charm. And I leave it open for the owner, the recipient, to do what they want when it comes to inside of their book. Here's another paper clip we did with another explosion coming off the top. Here's another center. Again, everything does look the same because that's the other thing that I do. When I have multiple, here's that die cut again. When I have multiples, I make sure that one or two is in each of the journals. Here's that vertical band. And again, I've added gold paper clips throughout. They can be moved around these type of clips. Another bag, another column. Here, this one's a large tag with one of the charms coming off the top. And then here, I've just put this, we've created a very narrow pocket down here. So it's glued here, along here, and down here. We have some very tiny tags here. Um, we have a tag, tag from the collection. And then here, I've taken one of her tags and I have added one of my stamped images just for her. Um, and then I added the sentiment onto the next chapter. So this is something special for her and she will see why I did that. That's not something that I would show um, when it comes to a video. So that is our A Little Bookish journal. Um, I hope she likes it. <laughs> you know, you never know. Um, but I do very much enjoy uh, working on journals. I hope throughout the videos, um, and I'll link to the one with the book and all, you know, the other ones, there was a couple lives with this and a couple of the, um, I'll put a hashtag on this, um, either include, you'll see include a thank you, Desiree Tangles with paper or a little bookish. If you search that, you'll be able to see the videos that are associated to this animal uh, animal well it is it's kind of you know she's she's bulging out um so she is very full but can more can still be added um and all of the explosions and the charms that are sitting on top okay so i hope you enjoy it this was pretty much the project for may 
I will have another project coming up in June where it runs throughout the month, whether through lives that you can watch on replay or they will be live videos like this pre-recorded and I'll take you through the majority of the steps. I can't show every single step. Um, so you'll see the majority of them or ones that I want you to focus on for the technique. That's why I'm showing these. All right. Again, I'll link down to Sabrina's shop. I'll link down to Pink Monarchs. Um, there's beautiful collections in there. Just take a browse. You don't have to buy anything. Just look around and enjoy. If you have any questions, please make sure you leave those down in the comments and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, and make sure you ring the bell for notifications and hopefully you'll be notified when the next video is live. Yeah, you never know. It's a, you know, it's a shoot. You never know. <laughs> it's a chance we take. Most of all, enjoy the art that you create and use your stash. Have fun with it. Find different ways to show it love and to make your creations come to life. No stress. Walk away. Come back with it with fresh eyes. But most of all, thank you for stopping by and being here with me, whether it was for everything or just a little bit. I truly do appreciate it. And remember, always be creative in everything you do every day. And I will be talking to you in the next video. Till then, take care, guys.